All right, let's take a look at how to upgrade the BIOS on this ASUS machine from Amazon. This is the ASUS M32 CD. The first step is to go to the uh, ASUS download support site for this, and I'll put a link in the description uh, to take you directly there. When you get there, switch over to Windows 10 64-bit, but you know, since we're doing this for the BIOS, it probably doesn't matter, but it doesn't hurt either. So click BIOS, and then as of this video, the latest is 0602, and make sure if you're use, if you're upgrading the one that you got from Amazon, select the the file for DDR3. So let's download that. Once it's done downloading, open it up, and what I'm going to do is drag the cap file that's inside the zip to the C drive. Once that's done, we can go ahead and reboot the system into the BIOS. So we can do a restart. And then once this goes down, you got to act pretty fast and you want to hit the F2 key a bunch of times as it's booting up. So I'm doing that now and hitting F2. Just keep on doing it. This thing boots so fast that uh, um, sometimes you miss it. So we can load previous values. And the next step is to go to the tool uh, menu on the top there. So just click that. And we want to use the Easy Flash 2 utility. Once we click on that, there, there's going to be a bunch of um, file systems here that Windows creates. And the one we're looking for is this, um, at least on mine, is FS2. And that's the, the 400, 500 gig hard drive, uh, the SSD that I, basically my C drive. So we'll click on that. And then we'll scroll down here. And once you see the cap file, click that. And it says, do you want to read this file? Click yes. And it says, do you really want to update the BIOS? In our case, yes, we do. So now it runs through the process of um, upgrading that on the motherboard. Okay. The update was successful. We can hit OK and it's going to reboot. And it looks like it's doing another firm firmware update. It says do not shut down or reset the system to prevent system boot up failure. And it shut down again. And I'll turn it back on. Actually it came on itself. And we are done. After after you get back into your system, you can delete that file, that cap file, off your C drive that we placed there for the update to uh, clean up. If you have any other questions or want to see other videos, uh, let me know in the comments.